What's going on guys? So welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be really, really special. We're continuing along on our series on some really, really awesome ideas for presents, gifts, or even personal upgrades to your trailers, your RVs, your pickups, your vehicles that you didn't even know existed. Some that you probably don't need, but from a convenience factor, you might really want. So we're going to kick this video off with one of my favorite upgrades, one that I haven't shown in nearly five years. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, so in front of you, you were looking at one of my favorite inventions ever, and this is the Phoenix 4000 Tongue Jack with Intelligent Memory. Now, ignore everything that you see there. That's all really cool. Tongue Jacks that have memory features have been around for a while. Why would you want a memory feature on a Tongue Jack? Well, let's say that you have two different tow vehicles that you tow with, and whenever you unhitch your truck, you want to hitch it to another vehicle, so you want to have a preset setting for the height that it needs to be to hitch to that other vehicle, or I guess a more common situation would be you take your RV out to a campground, you set it at a particular height, and then you want it to return to that height whenever you are ready to leave. So basically you uncouple it, then you drop it back down or raise it up to level it out on whatever ground you're on, and you want it to return there. That's where having not just one, but two memory features on here to be able to store two different heights can come in really, really handy. Now, those are all cool features, but the part I want you to zoom in on here is this right here. Fastest jack on earth. That is no joke. This thing is insanely fast. It is incredibly fast. The amount of time this thing takes to either uncouple or couple up your trailer will blow you away. It is absolutely insane. And I showed this before a long, long time ago on my black cargo trailer, uh, and everyone loved it. So we're going to install this on the Forest River Surveyor today just to show you how fast it is. Now, I could just go by the numbers here where it says it travels 10 inches and 18 seconds, but that doesn't sound super impressive if you haven't actually put like a stopwatch to your current tongue jack. But the reality of this thing is just by seeing it, just seeing it in action and how fast it is, that's really where you see the magic of this thing. It is insanely fast. It's got a 4,000 pound lift capacity, which is really nice. So that means that on the front of your trailer, you can have up to 4,000 pounds worth of maximum tongue weight, and this will still be able to lift it or lower it. So that's the key. It's not 4,000 pounds worth of trailer weight. It's 4,000 pounds worth of tongue weight, which really means that you could really install this on just about all travel trailers that are out there. This thing could probably even work fine on the front of like a living vehicle, which weighs like 18,000 pounds or more. So yeah, 4,000 pounds is plenty. They even have a higher series one, a 5,500 series that can lift up to 5,500 pounds. So if you need even more, you could get that. But if you have one of those like huge, huge, huge destination style trailers that we've been showing a lot lately, and you're looking for the fastest and extremely powerful front tongue jack with memory features, this is the one you might be looking for. Anyways, let's get this thing unboxed. We'll take it out to the RV and we'll get this thing installed. You know, and before I get ahead of myself here, one thing that is absolutely worth mentioning is this right here, 10 year warranty. Now with extended coverage, must activate online within 90 days of purchase just so you can get that warranty. But a 10-year warranty, which in the RV industry is pretty much unheard of. So that's really cool that they expect this thing to last 10 years for you, and if not, they'll cover you. So just be sure if you get this, you register it within 90 days. Now I have the B&W Continuum weight distribution set up here, but as long as I have ways to get to this little mounting bracket right here for this piece whenever you're not towing, it shouldn't be much different than a typical install of this. And again, the swap out really just consists of taking these three bolts out once I have all this stuff off of the bottom, which you'll see in real time, and then cutting the wire, splicing the new one in, and we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and knock this thing out and see how long it takes. So first of all, I have the truck hitched up. That's a key part of it because you want to be able to access the tongue jack and pull it out without weight being on it. So first thing I'm going to do is pop the pin out. that that's fine to just let it hang there even if it doesn't drop all the way out i'm going to take these bolts off like that then i'm going to take the four top ones off Here we go. Do my little wire snippers here to cut this zip tie. And then cut this zip tie. There we 
we are. Now, I do have power going to this, so you can see how slow it is. If you're looking at that hole right down here, that's the normal lifting and lowering speed. So I would say it takes about seven seconds per inch. So think about that. So let's just think about how long it takes to drop from where it's at down to that hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so about seven, eight seconds per inch of travel. That's pretty crazy. So I just want to demonstrate that so you can truly see how fast it is in more of like a realistic way versus the one we replace it with. I'm gonna cut the wire. That's my power now. So I am gonna go ahead and get that one prepped. I'm not gonna cut my ground yet because I don't want it to touch on accident. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put open my little splice here. Go ahead and put it in, lock the wire in place. Now we are good, so I don't have to worry about that grounding out on anything now. I'm gonna cut my ground lead. I'm also gonna do the same thing. I know this is going against what a lot of people automatically assume whenever you do wiring, where you need to kill wire to it, but if you're careful, it's not as big of a deal. Okay, so now I have both my power and ground ready for the new jack right here. All right, so both my wires are cut. I'm gonna pull my loom off. This thing is ready to come out now. So all I need to do is lift it out. Now let's go ahead and put the new jack leg under it as well or the foot. Gonna drop this in. All right, I'm gonna line it up with the three openings here. Okay. Gonna put our first bolt in. Go ahead and tighten these down. Nice and tight. We go ahead and reattach the foot at the bottom. Clip it back into place. Now, my power wire first. Make sure it's nice and clean. Put my splice in. There's two. Melt them down a little bit so they shrink around it. Let's go ahead and lower that real quick. I just want to show you how quickly this thing lowers. Check that out.
That's insane. Now, I'm gonna get this off of the truck so you can see how quickly it raises the actual tongue. Check that out, that is absolutely insane. Look at that. All right, so I can go ahead and get this thing off, but before I do that, I wanna go ahead and put the mount back on here so I have a place to set this once it comes off. You know what, I can actually knock two things out at once here by dropping it down on here. It'll raise it up high enough that I can pull this piece off. Right there. There we go. There we go. Now we're ready to lift it off. Just look how fast that is. Is that not insane? There we go. So now we can move the truck away. Okay, so we are all done. We are unhitched from the truck. We have zip ties in place. I rerouted the fuse right here. So it's actually further back, which is really great because if I ever have to take this off for whatever reason, I have the capability of doing it without worrying about the fuse being way up high here. The light is currently on. I can turn that off. I wrapped up the wires in electrical tape, put the zip ties back in place to hold everything there. Everything looked good. The only thing I need to do now is just to try to level the RV out real quick. So the bubble level we installed shows that I'm a little bit low in the front, so I need to raise it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that. It takes no time at all with this thing, it's crazy. And we are just about level, maybe just a smidge more. We should be completely level now. Yep, we are leveled out. So that's it. Super, super easy to install. A 20 minute install, 30 minutes if you're trying to film it, but it works really, really well. I absolutely love this thing and the speed. It's just insane. So the other cool feature you have here, of course, is your memory function. And if I wanna go ahead and save it at this height where I know I'm level, all I need to do is hold that down. You can see that the light starts flashing and that means it's saved. So if I drop it down, and I want to return to that height. Very cool, isn't it? So if I know my coupler height on the truck and I want to return it to wherever that is, I could save that as memory two. So right now here at the shop, I can keep it at memory one so I can level out the RV when I'm here on this pad. And of course, memory two could be whenever we hitch up to where we're going or we're about to hitch up. Super cool. Nice bright LED light on the front of it as well. It gives you a good work area, good illumination. This is really cool. I love this thing. And again, this is the second trailer we've put it on. Uh, this is absolutely something that I would recommend getting if you're looking for something that's so much faster. I mean, it's it's probably three times faster than your typical tongue jack that comes on an RV. That said, my channel sponsor eTrailer carries this. They also carry the heavier duty version, which is also much faster than your traditional front tongue jack that comes on your RV. And 10 year warranty, you really can't beat that. I'll throw a link in the description of this video if this is something you may be interested in. Uh, this is one of my like top five favorite picks whenever it comes to upgrading your RV. Not inexpensive though. So prices on these things sometimes fluctuate. Again, check out the link to eTrailer to see what it's currently going for. Highly recommend it. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.